Zia, I remember in earlier forums also, you have spoken uh, a lot about how your family uh, helped you reach uh, a lot and, you know, overcome a lot of your time because at, in the legal, uh, you know, profession, it is a lot about long hours, etc. Tell us a little about your early days and how you sort of overcame them with the help of your family. Swati smiling because she knows why. Uh, so, uh, I think I always say publicly and with a lot of pride that uh, really my career was in large part due to the support I got from my mother-in-law. Uh, my father-in-law passed early. He was a lawyer. My mother-in-law couldn't believe that her, hus uh, brother, her son was marrying a lawyer. She kept her father's, uh, her husband's library for me. And every time my husband would infrequently complain about my long hours, she would promptly tell him, you forgot how hard Papa used to work. And what's the problem? I'm here. So how could my husband tell his mother that she didn't look after my children well, right? So we were sorted. Uh, my mother-in-law and I were uh, colleagues in this conspiracy. And I think that uh, infrastructure is such a fortunate part of what we Indian women have today. Uh, we don't realize how lucky we are for our families, our extended families. A lot of young girls who are in Bombay today and who work with us have actually moved from different cities. They don't have the infrastructure. Their parents are in Bhopal, in Raipur, in Jaipur. I mean, it's as good as moving to New York, right? Except it's cheaper. And so what consumes us, as Arundhati said, is guilt. Uh, guilt, 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 guilt. And I learned to deal with my guilt. All right? Uh, I don't know if my children learned to live with my lack of guilt. But uh, it uh, had to be not the overwhelming emotion that drove every hour of my day. And I had a very supportive husband, which is very lucky. Uh, my mother was a Rottweiler when it came to making sure that her daughter succeeded in her career. So the stars aligned for me, right? And the ecosystem aligned for me. And so when I grew up, uh, even as I was growing up as the eldest child, the only daughter with four brothers, I was never once made to feel that I was less than equal. As my brother always says, you always thought you were more than equal. Uh, but uh, it's how your DNA is uh, set. So the rural girl's DNA is set very differently. She is supposed to expect her male sibling to do better, eat better, study more. But I think things will change. But this goes to education again. If the girl child is educated, she will earn, she will have her place at the table. And that changes the equation for everything. There is a, a son of a, one of our old staff members who became a CA sitting in his village passed his CA, came to work in Bombay, did his company secretarial exam, now is studying law, and when his father told him, now you have to get married to someone from the village, he said, who's earning? Don't give me any woman from the village. Tell me which woman is holding her own. So things are changing. Even the men want women who are smarter, brighter. And I think in five, not five, ten years, you should hopefully see a better situation for women.